All right, Coach Kurt Tippman joining us. And, Coach, just talk about uh, this week. Obviously, every year it's a huge game, and uh, this year is no exception. Well, the Dwanger Snyder game is always exciting. It really doesn't matter what their records are. Um, it's just an exciting week. You know, the kids are familiar with each other. The programs are storied in Fort Wayne's football history, and and it's always a, a fun and exciting week uh, getting ready to play the Saints. When you take a look at uh, what happened last year, you guys uh, owned the ball game for the most part, and they make a big play at the end with Tyler uh, catching that touchdown. Is there any sense of uh, that was our game and we kind of gave it away, and, and these guys want to get back and, and win it and show that they can, you know, be victorious? Well, I don't. I wouldn't say we owned the ball game. It was it was competitive, and. Um, I think we had a, a bad taste in our mouth coming out of that because we had the lead and uh, didn't make enough plays down the stretch to, to win the game, and they did. And that, that's compliments to them on how they played in the fourth quarter and, and kept us from getting any first downs, and we couldn't stop them on defense. So they made the plays at the end of the game. So that left a, a, a sour taste in our mouth. That uh, you know, hopefully these kids thought about through the whole off season and through August, and I know that's been on their minds as far as goals for this season. So um, you know, we'll see. Last week you guys uh, really did a good job bottling up Rod Smith. Uh, this week another challenge. Uh, they're a little more versatile on offense. How do you go about stopping that Dwinger offense? Well, um, the thing that you always have to prepare for when you play Dwinger is they're well, very well coached, and so you're right. They're going to be. Uh, they'll distribute the ball well. Um, they're good at running the ball, and they're good at throwing the ball. They'll probably be the uh, the best team we've played so far at doing both of those. So uh, certainly that's a challenge. Um, you know, they have some talent uh, in the skill positions, and they, they, they always have some good uh, physical, hard-nosed guys up front. Uh, the quarterback is playing very well. And uh, for being a first-year player for him, you know, uh, first year starting he's playing extremely well and and uh, number 20 is having a great year for them running the ball as well as their other guys and uh, number 17 is really doing a nice job makes plays for him out on the perimeter and uh, does special things with the ball when he gets it in his hand so our work is certainly cut out for us uh, defending their offense you know these guys heading in they know if they want to win an SAC championship it really comes down to this week at this point uh, what's the mentality of these guys heading into uh, this week eight game well I, I think we're pretty set on the fact that we'll either get the job done or we won't get the job done you know um, we have to make plays to win we have to play well we have to eliminate our mistakes um, traditionally in this game it comes down to who makes mistakes and in big games in general so you know, our focus is on not beating ourselves you know play uh, within the, the confines of the scheme, offensively, defensively, and special teams, and uh, don't beat ourselves. And uh, that sounds easy, but that, that's the challenge uh, when you're playing against a great team like Dwinger. All right. Anything else you'd like to add, Coach? Uh, it's, it's a special week. I mean, this is a fun week. In, the, in football, Snyder, and Dwinger history, you know, kind of being on both sides as a player and a coach, I mean, this, is, this is a fun, fun week. And the kids kind of grow up together in the same neighborhoods, and uh, we have a great amount of respect for Bishop Dwinger and their program, and uh, it's a fun week. Can't wait. Awesome. Thank you, Coach. All right.